show you how to meal prep for the week, right babe? Absolutely, so meal prepping is so important to Terry and I because we have full-time jobs and just everything we, we try to do for YouTube and just life in general, our families, et cetera, just like all of you. Uh, we're no different than you guys. Absolutely. So we thought that we would share with you what we do to make sure that we are really successful in our whole food plant-based journey for our health. Absolutely, and, and, and so, prepare for the week. Absolutely. Because it's not just a, a daily thing. You don't do things daily. You try to plan and plan ahead. As Angel said, we both have very, very, very busy careers and lives and it's just nice to be prepared throughout the week, right? Absolutely, especially when you, if, if you have to travel or going to work and making mm -hmm. sure that you have the things that you need to be set up for success. Absolutely. And one of the things that um, Terry and I do when we're doing our shopping on the weekends is we always do a meal list. Yes. So we know what we're gonna eat for that week. Mm -hmm. And so it sort of takes the thinking out of it when we're sort of in that work mode, in that week mode, mm -hmm. in in sort of that mode that you get in during the week. Exactly. And when I become hungry, I'm not thinking, oh God, now what am I gonna do? And the same for Terry. So we do start our uh, weekend or even during the week if we're thinking about it. I just jot it down on my notes on my phone because I always have my phone with me, right? And so there's little tricks of the trade That's that right. we've done. Terry also takes notes on his phone. And then we combine everything over the weekend and we know what stores we have to go to, what we have to do, and we set ourselves up for success. Absolutely. And then once we go to the grocery store and we have the things that we need, or we order some things online or what Absolutely. have you, yeah. then we nail prep. Right, and another thing, honey, another thing it does is it eliminates waste because because you're planning for the week and planning what you're going to have you're not buying mm -hmm. stuff that you don't need or you're not going to use you're only buying stuff that you're really going to be that using for that that week you may buy some stuff mm -hmm. you may not use for that week and it may carry over to the next week but my point is you know in terms of waste you're not wasting a lot at all that is such an important point honey mm -hmm. not only for us but for our environment mm -hmm. we don't like a lot of waste that's why we do cook quite a bit when we're cooking, but we will eat those things for yes. leftover for lunch or even breakfast, yes. you know? As I was growing up, my mom was like, who wrote the book on what you eat for breakfast, what you eat for lunch, and what you eat for <laughs> dinner? So I've grown up just thinking that whatever the meal is that you're having at that time of day, you can call it breakfast, lunch, or dinner, but not much different. And I think that's why we molded right into eating veggies yes. for breakfast so easily because it was like, that mental note, who yes. said veggies weren't for breakfast, yes, exactly. right? So exactly. you just gotta kinda get your head <laughs> around that. So these are the things that we do. So we go, we make the list during the week, or we might see something or, woo, um, what, are, what are we gonna make this week? What's gonna make it fun? Mm -hmm. And then what are we gonna do to meal prep? Some of the things that we do every single week, and that's what we're gonna share with you today, yep. is rice, potatoes, beans, and our go-to salad. There, we are not getting through the week without those things. Those things are so important to Very us. Critical. It keeps us healthy, mm -hmm. it keeps us energized. Mm -hmm. And so those are the things that we're gonna share with you today because they're really important and easy, <laughs> easy peasy. So let's start with getting our potatoes in the Instant Pot okay. and how we do this. We do five pounds of potatoes at a time. And all we do is buy the potatoes, we wash them and scrub them. We do not poke the potatoes. We don't take any time on this really. If they have anything gnarly on them, we just cut it off and put it in the basket. And so there's five pounds of potatoes here. Washed, scrubbed, that's it. Put them in the basket. We put them in the Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. I cover the bottom of the Instant Pot with water and just for today's episode, it's the first time I learned, so I'm glad we're doing this because I was like, how much water do I put in there? I don't know. But I put two cups of water in here and I did uh, look at it earlier and it is exactly the amount of water that I put in there. So two cups of water, I put the lid on it um, and I put it on high pressure for 40 minutes. I have tried using the steam method, it doesn't work really great for me because mm -hmm. sometimes the potatoes are still hard. Mm. So that's why I don't use the steam, steam method. This high five pounds of potatoes in there, 
high pressure, 40 minutes, slow release, 20 minutes Perfect. or more. Mm -hmm. You can slow release for five hours, depending on how busy you are, <laughs> but I'm saying minimum 20 minutes and we're done. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's just as simple as that. Eating them right out of the Instant Pot, like doing this, in, you know, yummy, yummy. We will put them in a Ziploc bag when they cool off and we'll keep them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And we eat and them all week. All week. All week. It's a second. You mm -hmm. can just eat in a second. Mm -hmm. So that's how we're going to do our potatoes. So while we let our potatoes cook, Terry and I are going to move on to how we meal prep. Go to salad. And this so, is Terry's specialty. Absolutely. So I am going to let him talk us through this. Okay. Right. Thanks, babe. So our go to salad, what we normally do is we buy the organic 50-50 um, mix. We usually get ours at BJ's. You can get this at any local grocery store, Costco, what have you. And then also, Angel likes the uh, crispy lettuce, so we'll add a mix of crispy lettuce plus our 50-50 organic mix. And what we do in order to make this last, and Angel came up with this idea, it was such a great idea, is that we bought these reusable mesh produce bags. And we'll show you how we actually are able to put our salad into this, these reusable produce bags and it lasts for a week, yeah. a full week. So this allows you to just go into your, your bag and grab out the salad you need, either for your bowl, individual bowls of salad, or what have you. So what we would normally do is we have Of course, our... sometimes, can I interject really Absolutely. quickly? Absolutely. Sometimes we'll do the, because we eat a lot of salad mm -hmm. during the week, an abundant amount, we just love it. You start to crave it after yes. a while, believe it or not. And we will meal prep this on a Sunday like we're doing. Mm -hmm. And then we'll usually meal prep again, maybe on a Wednesday. Yes, yes. Because yes. We, we have a lot. So, and we do find that that's better too, because then you do what Terry's gonna show you we do on a Sunday, yep. then you're doing it again on a Wednesday and the lettuce is always crispy, so. Exactly, so good point, honey. Thank you for adding. Sure. That. So we just take generous amounts of our 50, 50, 50 mix, and then we'll add in the lettuce, what Angel calls the crispy lettuce. Crispy lettuce, and I love it. Equal parts. So I'll just get the rest of this out of the bag in equal parts. Mm -hmm. And again, this is a damp cloth, just a damp towel that we use. Kitchen towel. Kitchen towel that we use. And you just put that in there like that. And honey, if you don't mind helping me. Yeah, we, we, we swaddle it like a little <laughs> baby. Exactly, so we fold it. I'll fold my end up if you want me to. Okay, yep. Okay. And I'll fold my end up. Then we have our reusable mesh produce bag. We put it in. And you have a drawstring there. Voila. Put this in your refrigerator and this will stay you know, for the week. Like Angel said, we do it twice a week, so, you know, we'll, this will last for at least three or four days. And you won't, it won't be, you know, um, brown, it won't be soggy, it won't be, you know, anything other than fresh for you to use immediately in your salads. Right? Absolutely, and the truth be told, we usually have that bag bulging, but <laughs> Terry's trying to be very reasonable <laughs> and show you how we do it. So a lot of lettuce fits into that bag. That whole tub will fit in and the bag, or even two bags, we kind of squeeze it in there. Absolutely. And we do keep it in our vegetable drawer because yes. there is different humidity settings in there that really help you to keep your veggies fresh. Yes. So Good point. Thanks, honey. We, we, when we first started eating, like we always ate a lot of salad, but not near as much as we eat now. Right. It was just like, how can we not waste the lettuce or sit there and tear off the bad parts? And this just really seems to work for us. And also time, I mean, how can we cut down the time because we were spending, you know, 10 minutes just trying to make a salad for us because we're cu cutting up our grapes, we're cutting up our, you know, peppers, we're cutting up our cucumbers. It's like, how can we do this on a, a bigger scale, a larger scale and save time? So that's what we did, that's what we came up with. So the next thing we're gonna do is, as Angel's cutting up the grapes, and honey, you wanna tell them how you cut up the grapes? Yeah, so this is Terry's thing. I Well, the grapes are so beautiful this time of year. Mm -hmm. Um, they're big and plump and beautiful. Sometimes in the deep heat of the summer, they're a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. but we do buy grapes all year long because this is one of Terry's favorites. 
And um, the funny thing is we used to be afraid, not afraid, but not eat as many grapes because they have a higher a glycemic index than yes. some other fruits like apples or whatever. And now when I think back on it, I was like, can you imagine being afraid to eat fruit <laughs> yes. because of the sugar content? Yes. But just, you know, it's all a mindset. It's all a mindset thing. So we enjoy grapes every single day. It does not bring us up and down. It's a beautiful thing. But Terry loves, I could just throw the grapes in the salad and be happy. I don't care if the grapes are this big or this big. He likes the grapes specifically cut in half. So we have gotten accustomed to that. And he's right. They don't roll around. Right. And it takes a little longer, but they're easier. It is eat. easier. And then we put these in a quart-sized mason Ooh, jar. Oh, nice. thank you. So one one tip that we've learned. I'm using this um, you know, paring knife for this. But one thing that we do and what Terry always do, does is he uses a serrated knife when he cuts the grapes, mm -hmm. just like tomatoes, because they're a little bit, sometimes they're squishier. These have a lot of muscle to them, so they've been really nice with this. But they actually, if you don't want to squish your grape down, a serrated knife is a great, is a great tip. Exactly. So we cut them in half, we put them in a mason jar and we fill this up. And it's perfect because this will last us until we have to do this again on Wednesday. Exactly. So we just have them in here. And then when we pull the salad out, we pull the grapes out. And we just dump, dump what, what, we, we, what we want. Sometimes exactly. more than exactly. probably what we, we should get. But so what? It's our salad. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And then what we do is we do the same thing with the peppers. So I usually, you know, you have to take the top off of the peppers, clean out the seeds, rinse them, wash them, you get them to this state. And once you get them to the state, I usually just cut them long ways, just like I'm doing here, as you can see. And then I go back and cut them smaller, in little small pieces. And you know, this is what we love. When we talk about our go-to salad, we love all kinds of different lettuces we mix together. Yes. We love the colored peppers. Um, we, we don't use the green, we'll use the yellow, the red, the orange. Mm -hmm. um, but by all means, if you like the green, you do it. But we love the just the nutritional properties that yes. come in the peppers. Yes. So we love that. We do the grapes for a little bit of sweetness and mm -hmm. Just really enjoying the salad, that sort of crispy crunch. Yes. And then we get a lot of crunch from the peppers. Um, the, the and, and the cucumber as well. No, that's a good point, honey, because this is our go to salad. Your go to salad could be something totally different. Yep. Um, this is just a go to salad for us. But again, we take these peppers, we cut them up, and we do the same thing. We put them in a mason jar, and we just dump on as much as we want for each each salad that we want. Yeah. Um, and it just it's just to it's to your taste, it's to your preference in terms of if you want a little amount of grapes or a larger amount of grapes or a smaller amount of peppers or a larger amount of peppers. Um, it's really up to you. And for you again, we'd love to hear what your go-to salads look like. So yeah. you're always looking for good ideas and different ideas and different things that you do. So please mm -hmm. write to us, let us know what your go-to salad is, because we'd love to hear, right, we, honey? We would love, love to hear it. And the one thing, I mean, you could, we love tomatoes. One thing you could do if you love tomatoes too, because cutting tomatoes up ahead of time, they get wet and mm -hmm. soggy. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons why we don't use uh, tomatoes unless we cut them for a veggie sandwich that day, then we'll throw them on. It's not that we're not flexible. We're just saying this is sort of the base of our go-to salad because we've learned over time that we can waste if we mm -hmm. cut tomatoes ahead of time. And if you're in a hurry, you just want to pick the mason jar up and dump, and then you don't want to have to stop to, to do the tomatoes. But we have also bought the little sweet grape tomatoes. Yes. We wash them ahead of time. If you keep them in that container, that container is actually made so they can breathe. Yes. But wash them, and then we can take the little grape tomatoes, if you really enjoy tomatoes, and put them on as well. But and like those are the perfect bite-sized yes. pieces. Perfect and they're bite -sized sweet. pieces, and they're sweet. They're right. sweet. I think what I'm always looking for in everything is a crunch. I mm -hmm. love cucumber. I love mm -hmm. that it's so fresh tasting 
and um, I love the crunch in it. I love the crunch that we get from the peppers. I love that sort of sweetness bite from here. There's a whole sensation going on. There and is. then the, the balsamic vinegar, how it adds that. It's just, I know I'm making a really big deal out of a salad, but there's a reason why we eat the salad we do because I feel like it fills so many of those senses exactly. that we eat with. Exactly, and we came up with this salad. You're right, honey. I said, honey, I, I think it would be great to put grapes on. You're like, well, let's do peppers, and we did yeah. peppers. What yeah. else can we use? Sometimes we use like the grape tomatoes, like Angel said, or we'll use the cucumber. Let's do cucumber. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of to your taste and what you like. But what I did is, if you saw, I, I washed the cucumber, I peeled it, peeled the cucumber, and I just cut them up into little pieces, just like this. Perfect. Then I go back and cut them into little smaller bite-sized pieces. I go once that way. Watch this way. And now, and small bites and now everything is almost, you the know, they're, they're very similar in mm -hmm. size. And you see the grapes and the half. See, we're getting to something here. And you can put all this on the fork with some lettuce. Exactly. And it's perfect. It's the perfect combination. Absolutely. I think um, the skin in the cucumber has a lot of nutritional value. But some people get indigestion or agita from the skin or sometimes it's too rough so you could peel or not peel now when i'm prepping the cucumber and maybe terry's on grape duty or something uh i will peel the cucumber a little bit differently yes. i will just peel the cucumber and take off half of the skin yes. plus i think it's pretty so i'm always looking for something pretty. i usually take off all the skin yeah the but you see how half of my half of my skin is there and then when i'm prepping cucumber then i have a pretty cucumber and then some of the nutrients that come from it but it but i guess the point is it doesn't really matter so mine has half the skin terry's has no skin you know as long as you you know buying organic uh, is great and then eat regardless you know just keeping those pesticides off the veggies and what have you. Exactly. Um, but this is how we do it. You can do it either way. So if you were thinking, oh my gosh, Terry, you peeled all the nutritional <laughs> value off of that, it could be for different reasons that people can't, don't the digest mm -hmm. the skin as well as they could. So just depending on your digestion, mm -hmm. do what you want. Absolutely. Um, but this is how we meal prep. Like Terry said, we're gonna fill up the mason jar. One thing I gotta say about the peppers, because we will, Terry has a yellow one here. We have an orange and red one ready to go. But we put them in the jar. And remember when we used to do the sand art, like at the carnival? It's so pretty to look at because yes. it has all the different colors. Sometimes we'll shake it up. So when we do a salad, we have all the different colors on there. But yes. I don't know, we like, we really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things, we meal prep this every week without fail because it's so important and it's so easy it on you just go and grab your, your salad yeah. and you put everything together and you're ready to go so it's and great especially like if you're you know when you're working from home you can just run from the computer really quick or your conference calls or whatever your your break is you know use a, a break and make a quick salad you can have the salad made in less than five minutes three or four grab your balsamic vinegar go back and do whatever you you want, or if you have a job where you get to actually take a break and have a lunch all the time. <laughs> so, um, good for you. So, we can do that, or if we're packing mm -hmm. to go to work or get on an airplane or what have you, it makes it so easy. You get your container, boom, boom, boom. You guys get it. Absolutely. So, we will be back. Thank you so much. You honey. want to talk about the beans, hon? I, oh, okay. We could talk about the beans right now. I was going to say we'll be back and show you because we are going to meal, we're meal prepping our potatoes. We're doing our salad while the potatoes cook. Next up after potatoes is going to be rice. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're going to do beans. So, one thing that you can do with beans, a lot of things you can do with beans, and we love our fresh beans, mm -hmm. but. We used to meal prep them every week in a crock pot so that we could use the instant pot for potatoes and rice and then in the meantime use the crock pot. It does take a good 10 hours to cook the beans in a crock pot and they're wonderful. Mm -hmm. And in, instead of waiting, so I felt we felt like we were doing double duty at right. one time using right. the crock pot and the instant pot. But I've learned over time, since we've been doing this for quite some time, 
that it takes less time to sort of do everything in the Instant Pot, even if you only have one Instant Pot. But by all means, the same way you do your beans in the Instant Pot, you can do them in a crock pot. You could even do them in a, um, a pan, a big uh, saucepan mm -hmm. on your stove. But you have to stir them and, and keep after and tend them, to them and tend to them. So we're sort of running around on weekend, doing laundry, getting ready for the week, meal prepping. So I don't want to have to run back and forth and, and uh, tend to stuff and neither does Terry. Right? right, right. So we do buy these big bags of beans um, and we have them shipped to the house. But you can buy beans from wherever you want. But I sort of like buying them in bulk. And this stuff is all organic. organic. Again, I have, Terry and I are not affiliated to anybody. Uh, we do not make money on, on sharing these with you. We share these with you because it works for us. And if right. we can give you a tip that helps you, we're in 150%. Right. So this food to live, you can order it offline. This stuff is heavy when it comes and it comes to your front door. Mm -hmm. So you can't beat it. You don't have to lug it from the store, anything. Very reasonable. They'll often send coupons and, and all of that kind of stuff. And everything's organic. So these are the organic garbanzo beans. And if you ever, when you order this for the first time, if you ever ordered it, you might look on the front and say, well, what is this called? What is it? Because we'll order different flowers from them too, like oat flour. I remember the first couple of times, well, this looks like oat flour, but where is this? It's all on the back. <laughs> so just flip it over. It tells you what it is on the back and the nutritional information. So this is organic garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And we buy these uh, just whole. And as you can see, we use the heck out of these because we're getting down to the bottom of them. But, you know, just raw, raw beans. So we do the chickpeas. This is a little bit of black beans left, see? <laughs> Again, organic black beans, we get them from there. And then these are the white beans. So we get the white beans. So depending on what list Terry and I have made for the week, will be the one usually bean that will meal prep. And as you know, we also can. Yes, yes. So we also can, which our canning method for the black beans, the chickpeas, applesauce is all in our cookbook. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so it's really step by step on how to can uh, the beans. But we also use the Instant Pot or the Crock Pot on Sundays for the beans. Because sometimes, as you know, you saw what we eat in a day using white beans. Right. When we do stuff like that, we just cook them in the Instant Pot. And just like I showed you on that show, Put as ma ever many beans you need in here. So mm -hmm. dry, I would say three pounds, two pounds, probably two pounds because if it's only one day or whatever. But if you're going to stretch them out all week long, go with three pounds and make a whole bunch of meals with them. And then put them in your Instant Pot. Put as much water to have about an inch. So I always say like from the bottom of my finger to my first, you know, little bend here, mm -hmm. my little knuckle, that's about one inch. So just put your finger in there, it's yeah. all good, or just eye it up about an inch, and then put them in the Instant Pot, and believe it or not, it'll only take about 25 minutes. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, 25 that's minutes incredible. compared to 10 hours. Mm -hmm. So you can soak them the night before and let them go, and then it's okay. You don't. You could do the non-soak method too. I always rinse them a couple times though because I just want to make sure they're clean, they're okay. Even though they're organic, we always want to rinse always. and clean. Always. Yeah. So, and then put them in the Instant Pot. I have a little cheap scale that I put a bowl on and measure them so I do know how many pounds I'm putting in here. Fill it up with water to an inch from the top. If you're doing black beans and you want them Southwest style, mm -hmm. Throw some seasonings in there, salt-free seasonings. Mm -hmm. It's all good. A lot of times I just cook these plain, mm -hmm. just because I can take a plain bean and do anything we want with right, it. Right, exactly. So if you season it, you gotta go with that seasoning all week. <laughs> so 25 minutes high pressure, definitely slow release for 20 minutes. Those beans are ready to go. Even if you let them soak on the counter for let's say, I don't know, an hour or so, you know, if you want to let them soak, but you don't have to. That is the way that we meal prep our beans for the week. So 
the potatoes just got up to pressure because as you know when your instant pot is really full like we had it with the potatoes it takes about 20 minutes to get up to pressure you cook them for 40 minutes 20 20 minutes later you do the rice the rice comes up to pressure really quick so i would say for the potatoes mm -hmm. you're looking at honey an hour and a half total mm -hmm. for the rice you're looking at 40 to 45 minutes and for the beans maybe 40 to 45 minutes so you're saying three hours ish total mm -hmm. you have your potatoes for the week you have your rice for the week you have your beans for the week and if you wanted to make two different kind of beans add another 45 minutes to that you see it just goes really really fast wow, that's incredible and as long as you have your list mm -hmm. like we were talking about when Earlier. we first came mm -hmm. on as long as you have your list for the week you already know that you need white beans or black beans or chickpeas right. or, or whatever the case may be. Right. You can obviously eat these out of a can, mm -hmm. but they're so amazing this way. They, they do are. definitely they do are. have a different the texture. Taste, the difference between the taste from a yeah. can to organic and raw and making them yourselves are just, it's incredible. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You almost have to do it yourself and taste test and buy a can and, you know, no salt, low salt, rinse, and then do them raw yourself, and you'll see what we're talking about. But it's you can't compare the two. It's incredible. You can't. You it's can't unbelievable. Compare. So we are gonna clean this up, get our salad prep done, our potatoes are cooking. Then we're gonna come back and show you how we do our rice, and then you guys are gonna be set for success. Look at the um, our staples video that we did many many moons ago. Mm -hmm. Meal prep. Make staples your video. List. You're done. Unbelievable. And then all the videos we've done and recipes, you guys can't fail. <laughs> like, you got this. So we'll be back very, very soon. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. We are back. It's been an hour, and we are ready to go. Right, honey? Absolutely. We got all of our salad prepped up. Mm -hmm. We had a little snack. Yeah. And now we are all done. So like Terry said, our potatoes are all done. The cool thing is, is that you don't have to poke them or anything and look mm -hmm. how they come out. And these babies perfect. are still pretty hot, but they come out perfect. So you don't have to go through a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just that simple. So now our Instant Pot is all washed and ready to go for our next journey as we meal prep. So we have two cups of jasmine brown rice we use jasmine brown rice you use whatever you like uh, but we we love the jasmine mm -hmm. um i do notice that the basmati may need to cook a little bit more okay on times when we're short and we've used the basmati it may need a few minutes more in the instant pot but we always use jasmine brown okay. and so we put two cups of just plain old rinsed jasmine brown rice, and I use two and a half cups of water. It is really this simple. If you were making this for a specific meal, you could season this the way oh, that you want to, yeah, right? Yeah, good idea. Great so idea. if you were making burritos, like I'll do sometimes, I could put some kind of taco seasoning in mm -hmm. here, or Southwest seasoning, or whatever we want our rice to taste like, salt free. Mm -hmm. You know, depending on what we're making, Depends on what we season, but since this is meal prep for the week, this one is just rice and water, and we'll season as we make our dishes. Right. Okay. This way, it's more versatile for us. And then that's it. We put the lid on. I set this on high pressure for 20 minutes. Again, we let this slow release for about 10, mm -hmm. and we're good to go. Wow, that easy, huh? That easy, and then we wow. already talked about the beans. Yes. So when this is done, we'll make the beans that we want for the week. Uh, anything that we don't have pre-canned mm -hmm. or whatever the meals are yeah. that we're making. And the truth be told, sometimes even with the, the stuff that we pre-can, sometimes we will make fresh beans yes. for certain things. Yes, absolutely. So to have on that day or if we need them warm or, mm -hmm. or whatever the case may yeah, be. Absolutely. So it just depends, but this really helps. So now the rice is pretty much done. When it comes out, we'll put it in a container. We're about to put these in a big Ziploc, gallon size Ziploc bag and put them in the fridge and we'll take them out and eat them as, as we want to. You can cut We're them done. for fries, you Absolutely. can cut them in coins, you can eat them as baked potatoes. Breakfast da -da 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 potatoes, whatever you want. Right. Season them any way you want. Absolutely. That's right. So that's our 
our meal prep for the week as far as three different kinds of green, grains, some veggies. Mm -hmm. We do buy other veggies that we steam, mm -hmm. so we love using our steamer. Our steamer will steam broccoli in five minutes. Love broccoli. Uh, we steam kale in three minutes, mm -hmm. so one of the steamers are really, really critical for our eating. Mm -hmm. We also buy uh, frozen veggies because they freeze them fresh. Yes. And they don't have any salt or anything. We'll, we'll let them either uh, thaw out on the counter, mm -hmm. depending on what we're making, put it in stir fries. That is really our meal prep for the week. So if we know we're going to have steamed broccoli, fresh steamed broccoli, we might chop it and put it in the fridge and have it ready so that we can steam it fresh and right. eat it warm. Right. Quickly fresh, absolutely. But that's really what we do to mm -hmm. set ourselves up for success. Absolutely. It's just that simple for us. So we hope that this helped you guys and- Let us know. Absolutely. If you like what we do, subscribe. subscribe. to our channel. And we hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and we'll see you next week. All right guys, take, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.